Hey, good morning. Happy Friday. Welcome to the end of the week. Our episode here on Upper Michigan Today. Elizabeth Peterson has the morning off. So we have the ever lovely Audrey Stetson joining us for Hi. the first time on Upper Michigan Today. Thanks a lot for coming here today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, we're going to get to know you a little bit. I like to do that on the show when I have somebody co-hosting with me for their first time on Upper Michigan Today. Mm -hmm. I like to get to know a little bit about them, what led them here to TV6. And I guess today's show, the whole theme is all about getting to know people because we also have Ishpeming City Manager Craig Cugini on not to talk about his role but to talk about his life outside of the role what led him to the position as Ishpeming City Manager we're gonna get to know some of his personal hobbies before that we'll chat with you but first the first thing that we usually do on Upper Michigan today is take a look at the weather cameras starting with Marquette it looks a bit cloudy out there I mean I've been doing the morning news since 5 a.m. so I've been hearing yeah. the weather story all morning <laughs> long. It's supposed to be a, a breezier weekend. Yeah, it's kind of cold today. Kind of cold today. I know. I woke up, didn't have a jacket, made a mistake. So you might want to bring a layer <laughs> with you today. Yes. Kind of looks a similar scene up there in Houghton. A little less cloudy though, but yeah, just expect some 50s body rain showers this weekend. Classic June. <laughs> Classic June in Michigan, 52 <laughs> degrees on a Saturday morning. So Audrey, how long have you been working here at TV6? So I started as an intern mm -hmm. in August. Um, so it's been almost a year, um, but yeah, so whatever, however many months that is. But I, I've been a multimedia journalist mm -hmm. since February. So a couple months of that. Uh, yeah, um, my internship was a really great experience, and then I was kind of ready to just take on a more, like, a bigger role mm -hmm. here in the newsroom. So, yeah. <laughs> and I know you did your very first live shot uh, just a couple of weeks ago at the Dancing with Our Stars event. How yes, was that? Yes, that was really fun. Um, it was really nice to do something a little bit different and, mm -hmm. and definitely got my nerves up a lot. Um, but I was really happy with the way it turned out. It was, I love anything, like, anything fun and mm -hmm. like lighthearted so I think Dancing with Our Stars was a really good place to start there. It, it is a good place to start because there's a lot of excitement a lot of action happening I mean knowing from like my experience being the morning news live shot reporter um, we had to make the action happen so it's a little bit more yeah. fabricated in that sense whereas you step into this big community fundraising event there's so much happening um, but I'm glad to hear that it was it was successful for you what were yes. you doing what were you doing before your internship here at TV6 where'd you come from um, so I grew up in Ishpeming mm -hmm. um, I am a hematite and then I went to the University of Michigan for college and I loved it there and I I made I had I was a double major mm -hmm. so my main one um, is film, television, and media, um, which kind of makes sense, mm -hmm. like, why I'm here now. And then I also majored, majored in German, um, even though I'm, like, 0% German. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a long story, but, yeah, um, I did a semester abroad in Germany, which was amazing, and I kind of just feel like it's pretty natural to, to just kind of come back home once, once you graduate college. Mm -hmm. and, kind of figure out what you want to do next so I, I just came back home and there was an internship available here and I was like cool TV6 mm -hmm. like I grew up like knowing TV6 right. and right. seeing it and and so I thought it was a really cool opportunity and it has been for sure. I, th I think it's so interesting that you majored in German. <laughs> yeah. I don't know anybody else that did that. Yeah well actually like we have someone here Molly um, also is a German major, really? which is just rare. It's It seems so random. I can't really speak it in the United <laughs> States even. Um, sometimes I'm like, why didn't I choose Spanish or French or something? But Or like um, anything it's more really practical cool. here. Yeah, yeah, it's not very practical, but it's it's pretty cool. Like. Um, when I'm when I'm there, mm -hmm. <laughs> even though that doesn't happen very often these days. Well, can you teach us something in German? Oh man. Um, that's a hard question, but I would say one of my favorite like expressions mm -hmm. in German is the word "schade." Um, it kind of means like it, it's it sounds negative, but like it means like oh that's too bad. Like I just feel like that's a word. That's kind of like a, a an emotion that you mm -hmm. need to convey a lot in in everyday conversation. Mm -hmm. 
to other people and I feel like it kind of captures something that we we don't really have in English like mm -hmm. like saying like that sucks like it just mm -hmm. kind of sounds like negative but yeah. like just saying like oh shada like you know so <laughs> I like that word can, can you give me an example of it would it be okay tell me if I'm using it correctly you say to me oh my plans got canceled because it's raining outside so I'm going to stay inside and watch a movie it's said I say oh shada well okay so I think it sounds nice to, to be watching a movie, so I wouldn't yeah. necessarily say it to that, but like if you were like, oh, my plans got canceled, then I could say, shada, like. Oh, that's, oh. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a nice expression, like well, that I feels kind today. of, like it captures what, how I wanna, mm -hmm. what I wanna say. That I is guess. so cool. So yeah. I know you've been to Germany. Do you do a lot of other traveling too? Yeah, um, I've been lucky enough to like my family took took me a lot of places growing up, um, and and I got to travel a lot during my semester abroad. I haven't been able to travel as much since college ended, but mm -hmm. my favorite places I've been are Croatia and the south of France. I just love like the Mediterranean mm -hmm. and being somewhere like next to the sea, like, um, and I also just really love California. Um, so places like that, I love to travel to. Mm -hmm. So you, you must have been through a lot of airports in your day. Yes. Well, yes. okay, well listen to this story. A new re report details the worst airports in the U.S. to fly out of. The travel claims management agency AirHelp gathered data from airports with more than 100,000 flights in May this year. And then that data was analyzed to see how many of those flights were disrupted. So here's the top five airports with disrupted flights. Coming in at number one is Dallas-Fort Worth International with 45.6% of their flights being disrupted. And then Houston George Bush Intercontinental takes the second spot with 40.6% of flights disrupted. And then Coming in uh, at third, Charlotte Douglas International, O'Hare International in Chicago. I feel like many of us uh, travelers from the Upper Peninsula, we go through Chicago yes. when we're flying out of here because Almost every time. <laughs> we know that there's no direct flights from Marquette anywhere. Um, and then Miami International Airport round up the top five. But then on the flip side, Salt Lake City International Airport was ranked as the best airport to fly out of. So, I mean, that's like way on the other side of the United States. We're probably not just taken a little um, detour through Salt Lake City. Yeah, but I'd love to go there someday though. That's mm -hmm. one of my goals. Well, I'm glad to have you on here on our show today, Audrey, because you're from Ishpeming. I'm actually from Ishpeming too, if you didn't know that. And we are chatting with the Ishpeming city manager today. Yes. We're going to be getting to know him a little bit more. Uh, we're talking about his military background, his personal hobbies, his time at NMU. Plus, he's showing us how to get ready for an Army and Navy tailgate with a Bloody mm -hmm. Mary, Craig Cugini <laughs> style. So you'll want to stick around to today's show.